<laughs> Welcome back. Next week is Teacher Appreciation Week. <laughs> Okay, and so you guys, we, we decided, why are we waiting? Are we we waiting? love teachers. Yes, we do. So we're going to launch it right now. Today celebrates teachers. It's a series. We're doing it all next week. We're starting it right now. We're going to shine a light on an amazing teacher whose dedication to reading has gone viral and earned her the nickname, oh. the book lady, which is Jenna's nickname around <laughs> yeah, here. But yeah. this lady, wow, she's taking it so to the next cool. level. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I had to meet up with her, y'all. Jennifer Williams is raising the bar when it comes to promoting literacy by working to donate one million books. I sat down with her at one of my favorite places, Books Are Magic in Brooklyn, to talk about the mission she's on and the lives she's changing. You kind of have two names, right? My name is Jennifer, or Miss Jennifer, as well as the book lady. Why the book lady? Because I've given away 91,900 books in the last four, almost five years. Jennifer Williams is not your average elementary school teacher. For more than 30 years, her passion for reading and writing can be seen throughout her classrooms and community, even on display within letters her class wrote to my grandfather as he was leaving the White House in 1993. So some of these are hilarious. Dear Mr. Bush, we saw a picture of the White House. It is big. Do you have a cleaning lady? But it's her fierce determination to get one million books to students, to adults, to any reader that has endeared her to so many. How come you have such a lofty goal? I know personally the value of reading, the ability to read, um, the magic of stories. I wanted to make sure that my little town <laughs> has books. Jennifer's love for literature began early. Her mom was a school librarian and read to her kids every single day until they went to college. When Jennifer became a teacher and started working with children, she recognized immediately what a difference reading makes. There's no denying as a teacher, I can spend five minutes with a kid I've never met before. And when you talk to them, the way they carry themselves, the way they answer questions, there's a very different countenance between a child who has ready access to books or just, you know, someone to share stories with them versus someone who doesn't. When tutoring students, they begged to keep the books she'd read to them. Recognizing their need, she started giving books to every child, every time. To this day, the mission Miss Jennifer lives by, no one who wants a book leaves without one. From novels left by neighbors to spending thousands of her own money for more stories. Danville's Book Lady makes sure little free libraries never go empty. School bookshelves are filled and even keeps books in her car in case she meets a new friend. Jennifer also started the Second Chance Book Club at the Danville City Jail for women. Two years in, the club is on its 59th book. And why did you title it the Second Chance Book Club? I think... By the time you end up in jail, most people have already told you what you've done wrong. I wanted them to always feel like there was always a second chance. Here's to 30,000 more. Jennifer has chronicled her journey to one million books in a Facebook group she calls Joy of Reading. And by the looks of it, the book lady has no plans of slowing down anytime soon. You have calculated how long it'll take you to donate one million books. At my current rate, I will be 92. <laughs> but you're not going to stop. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to stop as long as I can do it. Wow. wow. Amazing. Oh, that's amazing. She, okay, guys, joining us live from her school in Chatham, Virginia. Can we say good oh. morning to Mrs. Jennifer Williams? Good morning. Oh, and a couple okay, hundred ready? of the students and teachers at Chatham good Elementary. Oh, Mrs. Cool. Williams, kids, good morning. <laughs> awesome. Mrs. Williams, I, you know, you were talking about your mom and how she inspired you. Mm -hmm. She passed away. Um, but what do you think she would be thinking in this moment, looking at you and all this success? I really, really hope that she would be proud. I hope that she would know that what she started in me keeps going through me to other people. Well, I love you. We had such a bond. And you know Thank what? You. We want to celebrate you. We can't just share your story without helping in some way. So we have a couple surprises. Let's yeah. do it. OK. So we know that you love to stock okay. those little free libraries. Am I right, Mrs. Williams? Yes. OK. Yes. Well, guess what? When we told this, your story to the nonprofit organization, they thought you should have your own little free library. Kids, can you reveal the library? 
Oh. What? There it is. Yay! Oh, Yay! Look at I that. Hope, I hope you I can own. read the plaque. Surprise. Cool. Mrs. Williams, the plaque reads read Jennifer plaque. Williams Library, a.k.a. the book lady. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, thank you. Sweet. You like it? I love it. I love oh. it. Awesome. Yes, okay, well, great. Mrs. Williams, awesome. that's not it, okay? Penguin Random House heard about your story, and they also want to contribute to your goal. So Principal Wanda Carter is there to help us with the next part. Take it away, Dr. Carter. Oh, all right, kids. We're going to count back. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of books. Even for a book lady, Penguin has donated 10,000 books oh, to Little Free Library. 1,200 are for you to continue to stock those libraries around town, and they're sending a around 8,800 more to Little Free Library to be distributed nationwide. So now, your goal to help folks across the country is complete. That's over $130,000 worth of books. And by the way, wow. I don't know if wow. you can do that. You can do the math. You're incredible. You do math fast. Guess what? That makes your milestone of a hundred thousand books donated. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Oh, wow. That was awesome. That was beautiful. Uh, what a moment. Miss Jennifer, a moment. we love you. Love Thank you, you so Jennifer. much. Keep us posted Thank when you hit a million. Okay? <laughs> we know we got a couple of years, but we love you. Thank you. Oh, we love it. And thank you, Dr. Thank Carter, you. for being a part of it yes. this morning with awesome. all the kids. Beautiful. Had them. Uh, and we're going to be celebrating even more amazing teachers all next week, including a special live event over at the Rock mm. Shedder Rink next Tuesday, National Teachers Day. How exciting is that? That's awesome. Thank you, book lady. That was for great. Teacher. Ladies, You're the perfect awesome. person to do it. Mm -hmm. Of course. We're back in a moment. This is Today on NBC. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.